So, you're thinking of studying visual art at the University of Melbourne? Great choice. This course is about supporting your unique qualities whilst developing your artistic, technical and conceptual skills. Class sizes are small, so you'll get the most out of this practical, studio-based training. You'll be taught by renowned working artists, have access to industry masterclasses, and participate in regular student exhibitions. You'll explore a wide range of mediums throughout the course and choose one of four distinct mediums to focus on. Drawing and printmaking, painting, sculpture, or photography. The first thing you want to do is take a look at our special entry access scheme, Access Melbourne. You might even be eligible for a scholarship. Details and eligibility criteria are on the university's website. If you're Aboriginal or a Torres Strait Islander, the Willen Centre for Indigenous Arts and Cultural Development is here to support your art. Before you apply, get in contact with them for some additional information about your study options. There are three parts to the application process for visual art. Part one, the VTAC application form. The VTAC website is where you'll want to head. Set up an account, pay a one-off fee, and you are all set to apply. You'll be asked for your preferred medium as part of the application. Can't decide? Don't worry. You can apply for more than one specialisation. VTAC applications open the first week of August. You'll want to check the website for the date applications close. This is very important because you need to have part one and part two of the application process done by this date. Part two, your supplementary application form. Once you've applied for your course, you will be sent a link to complete a supplementary application form. The form will ask what interests, education and experience you have in relation to visual arts. We'd like to get a feel for your skill and style, so you'll need to upload 20 pieces of your own work. Your folio can include images, video or sound and any other documentation you think represents your work best. Pages from sketchbooks or journals showing idea developments are an essential addition to your finished piece. There is a fee to submit a supplementary application form which can be waived for exceptional circumstances. Part 3. Your interview and folio presentation. Everyone who completes part 1 and 2 of the application process will be invited to an interview in October or November. You will only need to attend the one interview even if you are applying for more than one specialisation. Interview dates will be listed on the university study website from August. Your interview will be face to face or online. Please see the auditions and interviews page of the website for details. You'll be meeting with a small panel of visual arts staff for a 20 minute chat. This is your chance to discuss some opinions and ideas about your work, professional artists or influential art styles. Each specialisation has slightly different folio requirements. Please see the auditions and interview page of the website for details. We recommend you include a range of pieces that speak to your broader creative interests. Drawings, paintings, sketchbooks, digital prints, collages, photos, notes, sculptures, videos. And be prepared to identify what you perceive to be your strongest and most relevant works. This is the hard part, waiting for your outcome. We won't leave you waiting for too long though. In December, you'll receive an advisory outcome email from the university. While it's not your formal offer, you will find out one of three things. Either one, you have a place in the course provided you meet all the entry requirements. Or two, you may have a place provided you meet the entry requirements and provisional to places being available in the course. Or three, unfortunately you have not been successful at this time. If you've not been successful, don't be disheartened. Many of our most successful students and alumni, even some of us, have applied multiple times before receiving their place. But when do you get your formal offer? Keep an eye on the VTAC website for offer round dates. If you're successful, you will be likely to get your formal offer in January. You can accept the offer on the VTAC website and get started straight away by enrolling in your course subjects. Best of luck. We can't wait for you to join us.